Now, yeah, I got two lines on the Guardian's fashion page. Oh, dear. The first one said, James Brooke is a designer 20 years ahead of his time. Well, and then. The second one said that for the sake of the British fashion industry, let's hope he stays there. So, on the strength of one bad set of reviews, you give the whole thing up? No, not quite. Thank you. Thank you. No, I brooded on it for uh, about a year. I ended up believing they were right. That's when I threw in the towel. But they were wrong. Very easy to say, 15 years on. You should have stuck at it. I had 30 quid to my name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, by that time, there were uh, signs I was going to fall apart. In what way? It's none of your business. True. So, what did you do then? Well, what else could I do, hmm? I went out and I got a proper job. Trainee buyer. And? <laughs> That's it. End of story. You never tried again? No. No, two years later I opened my first shop and the rest you already know. It takes a hell of a lot more than just talent to get to the top, Jan. When it came to it, I found I didn't know what it takes. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sound judgmental. <laughs> there really is no need to apologize. I've learned to live with it. Funniest looking cruiser I've ever seen. Good God, Laura. What are you trying to do? Finish me off for good? No. But Ken Masters might suggest it if he knows you're working on that instead of our cruiser. Is that why you've come? To check up on me? Yes. And not before time, by the looks of things. Nine o'clock. What? The table for four at nine o'clock. That's what you said this morning. You were going to book it. Oh, that's cancelled. Oh. Oh, well, don't blame me. Blame Abby. Evidently, dinner with us is very low on her list of priorities. Oh, so you booked a table for two. If you're hungry, there's food in the freezer. Look, Polly, we have to talk. See you later, Gerald. It's a good idea. What? Come here tonight. Well, I do have some good ideas. It gives us a chance to talk. Talk? Now, why does that one little word spoken in that tone of voice always put the fear of God into me? Well, it's not meant to. Women are so devious. No, not really. You lull a man into a false sense of security, then bang, the axe has fallen before he knows it. I just want to pick the right moment. Exactly. Well, go on, say it. Put me out of my misery. Orin. What? Orin and my mother. What about them? They're there. Thank you. God, thank you. That's what she had in mind. How dare she? Abby. Well, it's a bloody limit, isn't it? Yes, it is. But play her at her own game. Sit tight. Don't give her the satisfaction, all right? All right. Abby? I don't think so, Orin. Butt out, Leo. This is none of your business. Well, I'm making it my business. Come on. Well? That's more like it. What about the deadline? Oh, there or thereabouts, barring further distractions. What well, distractions like that, do you mean? Ah, oh, yeah. Some things are hard to say no to. Charles Frere set his sights on Relton, and that boat is a winner. Providing we can go into production fast, then the shareholders, well, they just might tell him where to get off. I see. You know I spent some time in the States, don't you? Yeah. Well, while I was there, 
I took a postgraduate course in business administration. Do you know what the first rule in the book was? Beware of bald-headed Englishmen in flashy suits. <laughs> Never mix business with pleasure. Don't bring your personal life into the office. Ah, of course. You and Avril. You go back a long way, huh? No, Avril hasn't said anything to me. Oh? Well, it must be Ken stirring the muddy waters. I was away for five years, Tom. I was out of touch. Ken was simply giving me a history lesson. In that case, you'll know that I'm a member of the board of Brelton. Yes, a non-executive director. Well, to bring you up to date, even though it's none of your business. My relationship with Avril is strictly professional. What about Freya's relationship with Avril? No comment. Charles Freya must be quite an operator. Well, you better believe it. Tarrant is littered with the corpses of those who didn't. Jack. Hmm? If you could live life over again, is there anything you'd do differently? Oh, just about everything. For instance? Well, first of all, I'd emigrate. Preferably at a young age. Then go somewhere warm, by the Caribbean, build boats, and charter them to rich yanks. Anything else? Uh, avoid women. And drink lots of rum. <laughs> no, I don't know, really. One thing I do know, though, I'd steer well bloody clear of that Freer family. Oh, dear. Avril. Yeah. Charlie Boy is giving her one hell of a time. How? No pressure on supplies. They put the word out that Relton is having difficulty completing orders. Share prices drop. And there's young Charlie Boy waiting to pick him up. You know what really bugs me? Yes. That he's supposed to love her. Hmm. He's even asked her to marry him. Ah, sometimes I despair of the human race. Children. Men like Charles Freire. They've got money and power. But when it comes to something they want and can't have, they lash out and try to destroy it. Just like silly, spoiled children. Hmm. Well, maybe his old dad should have done us all a favor and kept him about the air a bit more often. Oh. No pot left. I've got another one in the fridge. Oh. Oh, let's save it for tomorrow. Tomorrow? I thought we'd go to sailing in Proud Lady. Oh, I'm sorry, Jack, I can't. Oh? I have to go up to town. What for? Business. Oh, can't it wait? No. Oh, what sort of business? Well, just business. If you'd mentioned it earlier, given me notice, I could have changed the day. Forget it. Didn't realize I had to make an appointment. Well, of course you don't. Well, why well, well, can't you cancel your meeting or whatever it is? I mean, the Met Office has forecast a beautiful day tomorrow. No, I'm sorry, Jack, I can't. Fine. Right. Jack, I thought you might stay tonight. I've got an early start tomorrow. Good night, Vanessa. Did you get a chance to look at Mark's revised drawings for the daytime wear collection? Mm, that's where I was. And? Yes, that's what I thought. Look, my office tomorrow at nine, eh? We'll get our heads together. Okay. I need that collection. Even if it means starting from scratch. James, I. I'm glad we talked. Bye bye. Night. Avril? In here, Dad. I was just, um, 
passing. I hope you don't mind. No, of course. 